TPO flight a month. Uh, this month we're going to do a woven Polish woven nymph. All right. So here we go. I'm going to start with a Tamco 2499 SPBL. It's a size 8. It's going to be a big one. And the bead is a 4 millimeter gold tungsten bead. I put a little Loctite on the hook just so that the lead doesn't slip. I'm going to make this one pretty heavy. 10, 10 wraps of uh, 30 thousandths lead. Get this thing right to the bottom. Right now, we got to build up a nice tapered underbody, so we're going to use Unistretch 1X in uh, brown. Going to cover all the lead. Going to make a really nice tapered underbody. That's the key to these woven flies. Take my scissors. I'm gonna cut that now. What we're gonna do is the kit. The key to these flies is contrast. There's two colors. There's a light and a dark. So what we gotta remember is when we're gonna turn this vise upside down when we weave. So I'm gonna take the dark, which is gonna be the back, and I'm gonna put it on the side that's far away from me. I'm gonna tie that in. We're on the side of the hook. I'm gonna put that over on the side here now. I'm going to take my wire. I'm going to use small gold for this one. Tie that in right on the back. Come back up to the top of the hook here. All right now, this one's going to be yellow. You can make any color combination of this, you know, you want. But I just figured for the video here, the yellow and the brown would come out the best and for these uh, for the threads that I'm weaving with it's just embroidery floss it's cheap it's uh, 37 cents or 35 cents for uh, I don't know about a year's worth so there I have my two colors cut that off to make sure there's a really good taper to this so I'm going to look at it. Very important that there's no rough spots, it's just smooth. So there we go. Okay, now I'm going to half hitch this. Okay, I'm going to turn my vise. Just like that. Facing me. Now, I'm going to turn it upside down to do this. And uh, the first trick Davey put on the site there to uh, use bobbins to hold the uh, embroidery floss. And I watched Vladdy's video on weaving the flies. Chris gave it to me to use, so I got to watch that from the boss. So, got to see how he does it. He turns the hook upside down. Right now, what you're going to do is you're going to come across with the lighter color bottom and you're going to catch it with the brown and go under. Then come back over with the yellow, under with the brown. Over with the yellow, under with the brown. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over under, over, under. Another thing the bobbins help is they help you keep tension on the uh, the floss the whole time. take my vice I'm gonna turn it back 
Okay, now I'm going to take regular brown thread and I'm going to tie off the floss. Tie that off. Now, for the ribbing, you have to catch the ribbing in all the spots where you have the junctions in the floss from the weave. So I'm going to use the rotary feature on the vise. done here. It's where a good rotary vise comes in handy because you don't have to do this by hand. You just keep on spinning it around. Okay. So I'll half hitch the wire. I'll snap the wire off. I'm going to make a couple more wraps now. For the dubbing at the head, um, you can use ice dubbing. You can use a lot of different stuff. I just like to use squirrel dubbing for this one. So I'm going to dub the thread. Make a few wraps of the head. Brush it back a little bit so I can finish the fly. Make my whip finish. Cut the thread. And there it is, the Polish woven nymph. The contrast with the light bottom and dark back drives them crazy. Have at it.